In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up your staff in QuickBooks so that they're ready for an element time export and it'll make sure it generates their paychecks accurately and does your job costing accurately. The purpose of setting up your staff correctly in QuickBooks is to make sure that we can automate payroll. When you export your time records from LMN Time, you should be able to have your payroll and your job costing done in 60 seconds or less. We also want to make sure that you pay your staff correctly. And that includes the wages you pay them for their regular time, the wages you pay them for their overtime, and any other different wages you pay them, including prevailing wage work or premium wage work if you pay them extra for work on snow and ice type contracts or any other division where you may give them a wage premium. To see how staff gets set up, let's go directly to QuickBooks. Now I've opened QuickBooks to my payroll item list. And if you haven't watched the last video, it's here under lists and payroll items. And these are the different payroll items or payroll rates that we pay our employees. We're just about to put these rates into action. So I wanted to start here. These payroll items are gonna determine A, what rate we pay our employees, and B, what chart of account the cost of the wages for the employees end up getting booked to. Let's quickly go to our employee center now and have a look at an actual employee. We're gonna create a new employee, and his name's Angel, and I've already entered his name, etc. and we'll ignore his address and additional information for now. We'll jump straight to his payroll information. Now here's where we're gonna use the payroll items we just set up. Angel makes $15 an hour, so we need to drop his item name down here and pick the correct payroll item for him to get paid $15 an hour. So I'm gonna go down here to field wages hourly. Over here in the annual hourly rate, I'm gonna type in 15. And what that'll do is every timesheet we create for Angel, as long as we link that timesheet to his regular hourly wages, he's gonna make $15 an hour for every hour we book on that timesheet. But we also have to cover for overtime. So now we drop this down again and we pick field wages overtime, which is another payroll item that we'd previously set up. When I click that, I'd already set up that wages in the payroll item section to be time and a half. So it automatically took the hourly rate I pay Angel and added time and a half to it to come up with his hourly and his overtime rate. Now, once again, we're a little bit further. As we add hours to Angel's timesheet in QuickBooks, it'll know to pay him $15 an hour for all his regular hours, but then for his overtime hours, he's gonna to need to make $22.50, and this will make sure that's, that's set up correctly. Now, just to get a little outside this, what if we also did prevailing wage work where Angel was paid $26 an hour as we were working for a municipal or a commercial contract? Here again, you'd use payroll items to set this up. Assuming you've already set them up in your payroll item list under, say, a prevailing wage, I can add them to Angel by dropping this down and saying prevailing hourly wage for, and I'll set that to $26 now. But he also may work overtime on prevailing wage work, so I need to set that up as well. Again, I'll drop that down, I'll go prevailing wage overtime. It will automatically calculate that, it's just simply reminding me here how it's calculated. And you can see here, Angel would make $15 an hour for regular work. $22.50 an hour for regular work on overtime hours. He's gonna make $26 an hour for work on prevailing wage jobs. He's gonna make $39 an hour when he does overtime work on prevailing wage jobs. And again, we could create any number of payroll items for Angel that we needed. These are all I need now to pay Angel correct. Now one final option you'll wanna tick off is here at the bottom. Use time data to create paychecks. What this will do is create Angel's paycheck based on the timesheet that you build for him in QuickBooks. And timesheets can be built here, employees, enter time, use a weekly timesheet. As we get further on the videos, we're gonna show you how Element Time automatically creates those timesheets. You won't actually have to enter them, but this will ensure that we're gonna use that timesheet to build Angel's paycheck. So click OK when you're done. It's asking me now if I want to set up his federal taxes, his sick hours, his vacation pay. I'll say set up. We'll let it automatically set that up based on my region, and I'm good to go. 
If there's any other things you'll need to set up in terms of taxes or deductions, etc., you can do that. This video will leave that out to keep it simple.